Good morning. Thank you very much for taking the time today while I review the Sea Ray 400 Sundancer. I'm here at Marine Max in Pompano Beach where we have the 400 Sundancer in the water ready to show whenever you come on by. This is a 2017 model here shown with the open array, open array radar option also with the aft sunshade. That sunshade is going to come out about seven feet over the optional transom gourmet space which we'll get into in a moment. That has the electric Kenyan grill as well as a sink with a couple of storage drawers down below. The profile of the 400 Sundancer is accentuated by two very large hull side windows. When we get inside you'll see how much natural light really comes into the boat. Also on the stern of the boat you'll see this is a, an extended swim platform option. Uh, this is just the extended swim platform option but you can have a hydraulic swim platform option either added here at our dealership or ordered when you order the boat. Uh, another nice feature about this Sundancer 400 is it has a 50 amp shore power cord with a cable master so no more coiling those 30 amp lines all right back on the uh, boat Sea Ray's really gone towards the hard sliding glass door so no more canvas with uh, uh, every time you come back to your dock it does make locking up your boat and walking away much much easier the only canvas really is to cover this uh, starboard side l-shaped uh, couch area and then the little port side seat here. Stepping on to the stern of the boat here is that gourmet space. You do have the electric grill, your sink as well. Easy to get to. Sea Ray has put a very nice stainless steel grab bar here should you be out in any sort of waves. Off to the starboard side is also a freshwater wash down. Very nice feature on this boat. You'll see the two very large hinges right here and right over there. Those hinges allow the entire, almost the entire aft section of the boat to hinge aft for access into your engine room. So very, very, very nice feature. This boat does have the optional teak table here. This table will fold up in half at least to give you a little bit more space off to starboard are two pull out coolers as well here's a three pane sliding glass door a very cool feature about this is that when you're just entering and exiting the boat you can go right through the center but then both of these two doors will slide and pocket all the way in front of this door leaving the entire boat open for entertainment We'll go ahead and slide those open in a moment. Coming inside, you have a very nice, large starboard side couch with an ottoman and an opposing couch here. So you can have plenty of people hang out, talk indoors with the air conditioning running. This boat does have a very nice wood floor, some accent lighting down below, little entertainment station there. I'll go ahead and open up this sliding door so you can see how easy it is. Now you have this whole indoor outdoor feel, right? It just comes right into the boat. You can have a party of 10, no problem, and everything's upstairs. You want a little bit more Airflow, I'm opening up this very large fiberglass hardtop. Sea Ray has gone towards the fiberglass hardtop because it doesn't allow as much heat to come into the boat. So you can see a very nice large opening for when you have a beautiful day. Today it's probably 65 degrees here in Florida, so we are loving this weather. Fortunately, we need blizzard conditions up north for it to happen, but we accept it anyway. The helm's laid out in a very nice, easy to use fashion. 
all of your lights here to port. You do have the handheld VHF and the stereo controls are where the uh, either the captain or the uh, first mate can reach. This boat does have twin Raymarine 12 inch screens and here you can have your, your GPS, your chart plotter, the radar can come through to this. If you put a satellite TV on board, you can actually run a cable and watch the satellite TV through the Raymarine screens. Very, very, very nice technology, easy to use. And also, they update their software once a quarter, so you have the latest and greatest technology instead of having the obsolete, outdated hardware uh, that you would have found five, six years ago. Off to the side, you will see here, you have the hatch, the skylights and blowers, the windless controls, and then a very nice feature about this boat. This is a twin V-Drive with Cummins 480 motors. You'll see the controls for the motors are right here, but then right behind it is the optional inboard joystick docking um, setup. When you take control of the joystick docking right here, you press this twice. Now I have full control of the boat. I can spin the boat if I need to, I can move the boat sideways. This is a very nice feature. And then if I want, while I'm using the, the regular controls, I can still use my bow thruster, either port or starboard. Very easy to use, very functional. Here's another little storage compartment there. And then to port, we'll check out the galley. So the galley has enough space put out a, a little bit of snacks for you and your guests. You do have a very nice stainless steel sink. A little bit of a catch-all here. Maybe it's bottle storage or whatever else you like. This boat does have a stainless steel isotherm refrigerator and also a little freezer box up top. You have a Cuisinart microwave and very big storage on both sides. Alright. This boat is very nice because all of your social entertaining is upstairs. You have your couches in the salon. You've got your aft seating out here with the table. Your grills in the back. And then if you need to, you can go downstairs and use the head or go to bed. A really cool feature on this boat is that it, it can be optioned with either, here's actually the exact option list of the boat. Go ahead and sit here for a moment so you can pause your screen and read it if you need to. A cool feature about this boat is it can be configured with either the standard one head or optional two heads. And here this boat is configured with the standard one head which is off to the port. Here you have a nice vessel sink, opening port light there, so you have a little bit of fresh air if need be. Vacuum flush toilet, of course, and then you do have an enclosed shower with wand up top. The boat has a beam of 13 feet 6 inches, a draft of 40 inches, you'll have 344 gallons of fuel, a hundred gallons of fresh water and then a 42 gallon holding tank. Forward on this boat is the VIP berth. This is a nice full-size bed for two grown adults to be able to sleep on and then you have nice large drawers down below. Notice the accent lighting. You have lights by the bed for reading, you have overhead lights and then you have some rope lighting below that'll give you lighting at your feet. Here's your closet. This has an automatic light that will turn on when you open the door. And then this is a very large closet system on this boat. So you ask where the second head might go. Here in the ceiling of this boat is a little lip. And the wall comes down from that lip and the head goes all the way into the back there. When you choose a second head, there is a closet that's basically right here. All right. This, boat, this room feels very roomy because 
C-Ray goes straight to the hull. You can see here on the sides, this shiny fiberglass is indeed the hull. So instead of loading it up with all the storage cabinets like they might have in the past, they've instead insisted on having a, a much roomier feel to the boat. All right. Also for the ladies, you have a pull-out vanity with mirror. And then this ottoman here will slide out so you can sit and do your makeup and get ready for the evening. These three cushions are for the filler cushions for the salon sofa bed. Go ahead and move aft. So here are the stairs that we came down. We went first forward and then now we're going to go down one more stair into the aft stateroom. This is the optional storage cabinet. When you do not choose the optional storage cabinet, this is a third single bed. All right, we'll go down. Currently, the two beds are situated as a full bed, but you'll see here on the floor there's a track, and this bed can slide towards me with a walkway down the middle, and you can have two twins or kids share in the back got a nice TV that'll go ahead and pull out come all the way out towards us so that all the kids in the back can watch TV again you see the reading lights here you have the nice whole side window and you even have a very large closet central vac and a safe this is a very nice well laid out boat And I implore you to come down to Marine Max Pompano Beach. We are at 700 South Federal Highway. Come on down, take a visit. My name is Ryan Steele. I'll walk you through this boat and any others. We'll take a peek through the sunroof here to the forward loungers. You do see one in the forward facing position and then the other in the flat position. There are snaps around that that will allow you to cover it with canvas when not in use. Up forward you'll see the spotlight as well as the anchor windlass. Once again, we are here at Marine Max in Pompano Beach. Come on down, take a visit. I'm Ryan Steele. Thank you and have a great day.